What happens when four ambitious young men set out to ride motorcycles and build a brotherhood? Never knowing what they were in for, they slowly drew men of God around them. From humble beginnings to a global movement. How is everything? Everything okay? Everything is perfect. Are you having a nice sleep? No. Why not? I have this little light shining in my eye. It's not a little light, that's a big light. No, it's a small light. Are you Santa Claus? Uh, absolutely. Are you gonna bring me <laughs> gifts? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Santa Claus. There's that light again. If I'm nice, will you give Oklahoma a charter? Well, let's see. Have they been good? They've been very good. Hmm. Let me consult Mrs. Claus on that one. And Searching for signs of life. Wally Dolly! How do you feel about getting your new rag? Is it awesome? Why? Are you sleeping in your new rag? <laughs> are you are you sleeping in your new rag? Yeah, new rag. Alright. Matt, I think we need to have a conversation with the Oklahoma guys. I think they want to have a conversation. Matt. I think you're a douche. Yes, I jump. Are you, are you, are you asleep? No, I'm watching idiots the whole time. Don't, why don't you just come and join the idiots? You know, if you can't, I haven't them, slept in like 48 hours. Neither have I. That's the problem. That's the problem. What are you doing? I'm sleeping. But what, but if you're sleeping, why are you talking? Because you. <laughs> are you Glenly the dwarf? Yes. Say your name. Glimly? <laughs> Get there. <laughs> Glimly? The dwarf. <laughs> Where, where's your war where's your warhammer? Let me show you. <laughs> There'd be no shooting in a church. No what? There's no shooting in a church. I'm not in the church, I'm in the annex. <laughs> <laughs> Will you say, if you say your name Glimly the Dwarf, I'll leave you alone. No. <laughs> Just say Glimly the Dwarf. <laughs> I'm Disciple James from Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club, and this is another Disciple Moment. Thanks for joining us. Today we're talking about biblical brotherhood. If you're going to be in a Christian motorcycle club, you've really got to understand brotherhood. Today we're going to talk about a couple things like being...
Hey, I'm James Disciple Johnson, National President and Founder of Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club. But hey, I'm just an average. I believe right now there are men next to a motorcycle in their garage with a beer, and they're gonna go to church tomorrow because tomorrow's Sunday, but church has left them behind. And you've got to touch their heart. You've got to electrify their soul. And that's what they're waiting for. The communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. God is great. God is great. God is great. The bowl of milk for the cat is under the table. The meat is on the table. And the four legs keep the table stable. I'm James Disciple Johnson, national president and founder of Disciple. And I'm also uh, James Disciple Johnson, and I'm also national president, man. Yeah, you're bad, James. I'm the good. Terrorist. Disciple Nation, this is James Disciple Johnson, National President and Founder of Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club. And at this blessed time of year, we like to have a little bit of cheer. And so for eons and eons, many disciple prospects will sing the song you're about to hear from the Cotton Town Mother Charter. Please enjoy. On the first day of Christmas, disciple gave to me a loud black and gray Harley. And a loud black and gray Harley. On the sixth day of Christmas, disciple gave to me six God is great, five eight hangers, four air horns, three engines, two heated gloves, and a loud black and gray Harley. On the seventh day of Christmas, disciple gave to me seven prospects singing six God is this is James Disciple Johnson, or Pastor James, today. I, uh, am living the life of a small town pastor. Been here for a while, got my family firmly ensconced in the uh, children's room back. Hey, it's James Disciple Johnson, National President, Founder of Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club, and I'm here at the Dogwood Crew Dragon Run. Let's go check out the campground, shall we? The Dragon Run is an annual event that happens every year in October in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Western North Carolina. It's a family-friendly event. It's camping, it's brotherhood, and having a good time. It originated when we went to see the Tale of the Dragon years ago, but it turns out there's better roads to run like Devil's Drop, The Rattler, and many others. Hope you enjoyed this movie, but even better, come and join us for the run next year. Susie Q here. I've had her uh, roughly, I guess, about three months now, and uh, still just getting used to her. But uh, it's uh, it's amazing uh, just having this bike. I'm Sean Campbell, Prospect 43 Indiana Crossroads Crew, here with the uh, Motorcycle Ministry Minute. and the 43 West Virginia Cold Support Crew.
Ephesians 3.21 says, And now unto him who can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ask or even think, according to the power that is already at work in us. Be all glory, honor, and praise forever and ever. Amen. So what's exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can ask or think? What does it truly mean to have something exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can ask or think done by God in your life? Take time and consider that. What are you asking God for? What are you offering to do for God? What is going on in your life that God wants to get involved in? Jesus in his parables always talked about seed. Some seed goes out and brings back 10, some 30, some 100 fold what kind of fruit are you producing? What's exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask or think when it comes to fruit? Because he also said that some seed just turns into grass that gets burnt up and doesn't produce any fruit at all. If it's literally the truth that some people produce 30, some 60, some 100 fold when it comes to fruit, then how do we get to 100 fold? What changes do we make in our life to be more active and significant and having more impact on the kingdom of God. Not a New Year's resolution. I mean an everyday thing. How do we make an impact? We can say fear is a liar, but do we mean it? And what is fear holding us back from? Two islands out off the Florida mainland. It's very relaxing and meditative here, and this is where the Lord has inspired me to promote global revival in this small, sleepy, beachside community. So one of the best parts of living on the beach is the relaxing sounds of the waves. It's such an amazing thing to sit and pray and meditate, talk to the Lord, and just enjoy the sound of creation. It's so amazing. It's so. What's up, y'all? It's James Disciple Johnson, national president and founder of Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club. Yep, that footage is ugly. That's our prospect, Anders, from Thailand, charter of Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club. We were shooting some video. He came very close to hitting me and instead ended up dropping his bike. These two girls almost got taken out. It's crazy. They had to jump out of the way. I'm here at the Crown House in Cocoa, Florida, and I'm about to take off for Costa Rica. This is the house where five men have gathered together to fast and pray for global revival. So, yep, you're going with us to Costa Rica. Let's go, Kink. Let's do it. In Costa Rica, we've got guys who have been waiting for years. National president and founder of the world's largest Christian motorcycle club. And I've come to Guatemala to ride with the brothers of the Charter of Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club here. We're going to learn about the unusual forms of transportation that you see in this country, so different from elsewhere. We'll hear about the security situation, the men who are armed to keep the peace for this beautiful culture. We'll learn about the Mayan culture and the history that has influenced the foods that you find in Guatemala. Guatemala has a rich tradition of tasty food that's influenced by its religious heritage and culture. You'll find out more about all of this in this episode of Riding with Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club, Guatemala.